Senator Heidkamp also spent time in Bowman today meeting with ranchers about the drought. Steve Kirch reports. With most of Western North Dakota being in a severe drought for months now, emergency grazing of CRP is finally happening. But is it too little, too late? There should be the opportunity to, to say, come look. You, you can see that it's dry. You can see what's happened. And regardless of what the gauges say, I, I'm in an area that's much more severe than what you might think. Now, emergency hang won't be released until August 2nd, but under CRP emergency provisions, only 50% of a field or continuous field can be hayed. According to the government, birds are more important than livestock. Haying is more disruptive to the CRP ground than uh, cattle going across grazing it. I think that's one of the concerns. They can also get assistance from the Livestock Forage Program. But ranchers suffering D3 drought conditions feel a $54 compensation per beef cow could be better. That we, use, we utilize corn. You have to keep in mind that when Congress writes a farm bill, it's nationwide. And so when they wrote it, um, they're utilizing the, the price of corn to determine what the prices are for LFP program. For some ranchers, the only choice is to go to market early. Don't have feed, don't have water. They have to go to the livestock market and be sold. And you're going to lose money because you're going to be probably skinny, underweight cows. That's a very good possibility. The panel and attendees discussed various programs from water assistance to emergency disaster loans up to $500,000. But it seems like more should be done. Can we get some help hauling hay? Can we get some help um, hauling cattle? In the end, the day was productive. Yes, there were a lot of questions, a lot of answers, and the big broad spectrum was covered. However, there is still much that needs to be done. The, the biggest frustration, I feel such an incredible sense of urgency um, and, and panic for these families and for these ranchers, and they're not getting their answers quickly enough. In Bowman, Steve Kirch, KX News. Hudkamp has urged the IRS to delay capital gains taxes for ranchers who had to sell cash.